Hey guys, it's Yam and welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here. Hi, my name is Yam and I make videos about beauty, lifestyle, travel, weekend vlogs, and sometimes personal finance. In today's video, I will be talking about 5 simple solutions to your everyday money problems. If you want to know more about what are the common money problems, then please don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell beside it to be notified whenever I upload a new video just like this one. Let's begin! What are your everyday money problems? Here are the 5 most common money problems and how we could solve them once and for all. Number 1. It's so hard to keep track of all my expenses. We know that tracking your expenses can be a hassle sometimes and I myself can really attest to this, but it's really in your best interest to keep a log of your finances. The key to make budget tracking more manageable is to find a system that works for you. There are so many ways to track your expenses and I'm gonna share it now in this video. Simply use pen and paper and track your expenses the old school way. If you have an affinity for making spreadsheets, you can use Excel or Google Sheets. You can also make your own budgeting template in Notion. Use a mobile budgeting app like Spendy, Fudget, Fortune City, Monify, and Good Budget. If you're struggling to track your expenses, it means that the method you're using now isn't working for you and it's high time you try something new. Find the means that suit you best and tracking your expenses won't feel like a chore. A shady and gentle reminder, if you're really having a hard time tracking all your expenses, it might help to minimize your expenses so that you won't have much to track. Just saying. Number two money problem would be, I'm an online shopaholic. I keep on overspending on things I don't even need. And a lot of us are so guilty about this. Want to know how you can take the guilt out of shopping? Pay yourself First, if you've seen my two previous videos, I've always been telling you guys to pay yourself first. And please don't forget this simple reminder from me to you to pay yourself first. When you get your paycheck, pay your savings, investments, and insurance accounts first. Next, pay for your needs. Pay your monthly bills or set aside money for necessities like groceries. Then, with what you have left, you're free to spend on things you want without remorse because you've already taken care of your savings and your needs. Another practical tip to stop overspending is to deliberately make spending hard. Delete all your shopping apps. Actually, I've done this step before. I've deleted my Shopee, Lazada, Shein, and all those other shopping apps, especially on their double-digit sales. You can also unfollow Instagram shops, put your money in a savings account that's hard to withdraw from, and use cash over credit. Number three money problem would be a big chunk of my monthly expenses is food delivery or takeout. If you're spending a lot on food delivery or takeout, it's time for you to learn how to cook. Cooking or food prepping your meals every day is significantly cheaper than constantly ordering food. The great news is that you don't even need to spend much to learn how to cook because there is a wealth of free online tutorials on YouTube. You can also find some on Facebook, Instagram, and even on TikTok that you can watch to learn new recipes, cooking techniques, and cooking hacks. Number four money problem would be, I'm struggling to stick to my budget. I always end up going over my monthly budget. Let's do an exercise for this one. Check your monthly budget last month and assess all your expenses. You can rule out all the payments you've made on your savings and your needs. Let's focus on your expenses under the wants category. As you go over your expenses under wants, reflect on the following. Out of all your expenses, what do you spend on the most? When it comes to your wants, what do you prioritize more? For example, do you prioritize eating yummy food or shopping for new clothes? What can you eliminate from your expenses? Check if you've been spending on subscriptions you no longer use or if there's something you are willing to cut back on to make way for your priorities. Once you know your priorities and what you are willing to give up, you'll be able to make more mindful decisions when it comes to your daily purchases. Assessing your spending behavior is a great way for you to pinpoint your bad money habits. Once you pinpoint your bad money habits, 
it'll be easier for you to take the necessary changes to improve your spending behavior. Last but not the least, money problem number five. My monthly income isn't enough to pay for my monthly expenses. How do I survive Petsa de Peligro? Or in Cebuano, we call this Ting Bits or Ting Bitai. Because we've just got our paycheck and then tomorrow we don't have money anymore or we're broke and then we're waiting for the next paycheck to come. So that's what we call the rat race. We're living paycheck to paycheck. That's Petsa de Peligro. Those days where you're just waiting for your paycheck to come. Living from paycheck to paycheck can really lower the quality of your life and put you under a lot of stress. If you're always struggling to survive Petsa de Peligro, here are a few solutions you can consider to increase your monthly income. Assess your work performance. If you've excelled at work and you've proved to be a key performer, among your colleagues, consider asking for a raise. If your company is in a good place financially, and if they really value you as an employee, asking for a raise shouldn't be an issue. If you're becoming an expert in your field, and your current job isn't paying you enough for your skills, find a new job that could pay you more. Make the most of your skills and have multiple streams of income. Getting a side hustle will not only increase your monthly income, but can also act as a safety net or even as a buffer if things go south. And that's all for today's video, guys. Those are the five simple solutions to our everyday money problems. If you've liked this video and if you've learned something from me again, please don't forget to click the like button, comment down below any video suggestions, share this video to your friends and even to your colleagues, your family, and to those who need it. Please don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell beside it to be notified whenever I upload a new video. Most of the time, our difficult problems have very simple solutions. This has been Yam Yam saying goodbye and see you on my next personal finance video.